Aloha folks, it's Kiora Balul with Maui Now. I am here with attorney at law David Serino. We're going to be answering some very important questions and talking about some really significant issues related to Maui and the law. We've done this before and we got a lot of really good feedback on that, so we wanted to have David as a resource. He's been an attorney here for more than 25 years and we've definitely got some good topics that I think you'll be interested in. First, we're going to revisit the medical marijuana issue, which has obviously made a lot of headlines. And we've got two dispensaries on Maui that are named and moving forward, right? Well, they've got two licenses on Maui. Each license, I believe, can have three dispensaries. So there is none of them have opened at this point. And probably the reason has nothing to do with the law it has to do with growing enough so that you have inventory, um, having it properly tested, and then you have to open it up and assuring security because it's not a situation where you're walking into a 7-Eleven. And, and so all of that needs to be, you know, put down as groundwork before you can, you can even begin. Unlike some places on the mainland, this is a purely indoor grow situation. So it's not, again, as if you can just get a nice field and plant marijuana. You actually have to have a warehouse. It has to be secured. And there have to be background checks of everybody who's involved in the grow process. Wow, and what types of the medicine are legal and what methods are legal at this point? Well, from what I can tell, marijuana, Mm -hmm. hashish and then they have a whole host of other things capsules lozenges pills oils oil extracts tinctures ointments skin lotions transdermal patches and what appears to be um, the equivalent of vaping marijuana uh, under it, it has to be from pre-filled containers it can't be you fill your own and then you would put it into some type of nebulizer and you could you could inhale it that way so those are all at this point legal the, the method for producing them and for selling them is strictly regulated. So, you know, those should be available to people, I'm sure, if the particular licensees have the methods and the means to develop these products. This is a state-run program. What authority does the federal government have over this? The, the feds, it's illegal. It's against the law. You cannot jump on a plane with a, with a joint. You can't go to Honolulu with a joint. It's not because it violates state law, but it, it violates federal law. And to that certain extent, and we're gonna be talking about this later, um, if you have a card, a blue card, you're not allowed to own a firearm. Not because it violates any state laws, but federal law does not allow the possession of marijuana or any illegal drugs, and also the possession, the legal possession of a firearm. Okay, I'm curious also, what does this mean for visitors? Um, in 2018, visitors will be able to s have medical marijuana here, but they're going to have to register with the state before they come if they want to smoke while they're here. Now, here's the problem. They'll be able to buy from our dispensaries, but again, they're not allowed to jump on the plane with the marijuana because that violates federal law. Even if they're going to Oahu? Even if they're going to Oahu. Absolutely. Good to know. Thank you, David. You're welcome.